the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello, basketball fans. I'm Ernie Johnson, welcoming you to 2K Sports. I'm here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Tip-off coming up shortly from Oracle Arena as the Golden State Warriors will be going up against the Chicago Bulls. And guys, for the Bulls, they haven't competed at the level they'd like over the last week or so. Just one win in five games. And the Warriors head coach, former three-point ace Steve Kerr, he has deep knowledge of the game. Also, some front office experience. He's helped establish a great culture for this organization, Kenny. Well, he set some core values, you know. He wanted you to have compassion, competitiveness, and mindfulness. You know, throw in, throw in a sprinkle of joy, and then all of a sudden you got a... You have the makings of a great day. No doubt. There it is, and a lot of fun to play. And you know, with, with all those great recipes, Kenny, I think it's part of how they lured KD to the team. Got to credit Steve. He helped lay the blueprint. Has your day been filled with compassion and mindfulness and joy so far, Shaq? Always sitting next to you, Ernie. Oh, oh man. man. Yeah. How about you, Kenny? Oh, man. You just put some butter on that toast, man. Golly. <laughs> Don't forget the jam. I hope this show never ends. ever come up for air. He's working, which you would know if you didn't still have a flip phone. Hey, it's a Motorola Razor, thank you. And she's never failed me yet, despite all these kids trying to get me to upgrade. Shammy, what is this? Uh, iPhone 7? It's a 7 Plus, bro. Oh, yeah. If you're going to do interviews, I would at least like to know about them first. Especially if you're going to do them on video from inside your freaking car in the parking garage. Which, by the way, don't do that. Man, you think a little positive pub? Shammy. Are we clear? We're clear. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yo, Yo, she crazy. She straight up She you. played you, man. She didn't play me. Quit talking about that. She played you, bro. Well, what was I supposed to do? You were supposed to show me how it's done. You were supposed to be my vet. Hey. Chicago Bulls are on the road in this interconference game today. I'd like to welcome you to the NBA on 2K Sports. Our broadcast team tonight, on one side, Greg Anthony. On the other side, Steve Smith. And on the sideline, David Aldridge. I'm Kevin Harlan. First game back in Golden State for the Warriors. They're ready to play. Well, they're entering a bit of a soft spot in their schedule, facing off guys against some of the lower-ranked teams in the league. And 
We'll see if they're able to take advantage and have their win total. And well, for the Warriors, I know they've got their sights set on home court advantage in the playoffs this year. And because of that, they're going to be anxious not to spend too much time outside of that top spot. Well, we're already seeing a few kinks in their armor. Maybe it's just early season issues that they'll eventually work out. But they may not be quite as strong as everyone thought they may be. And we've got time for a quick pregame report. With that being said, let's head to the sideline in our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, D.A. Well, guys, Draymond Green's competitive fire is one of the big keys for the Warriors. He said, that's one of my biggest responsibilities, to be the vocal and emotional leader of this team. We have a lot of guys that are more on the quiet side. If nobody was willing to take that role, we'd just be a bunch of church mice. I thought, why not me? It's natural for me anyway. Kevin? He's the glue that holds the team together, DA. Always important to have a guy who can fire up his teammates. And tonight, we have two teams that Steve can absolutely rip you apart from long range if you let them. Yes, I mean, these two teams, uh, no one's going nowhere near the paint. So I think it's going to come down to the teams that they're defending. You're not going to be able to stop these guys from making shots, but you want to be able to contest and bother them. And then you have to rebound the three-point shot. And that's the hardest rebound because it can bounce off and go particularly anywhere. Take them off their rhythm, and hopefully they miss shots. Warriors leading by 19 points. Iguodala with it. Looking for his first basket still in this one. No good from McCaw. Outside, Levine. Brown against Curry. The shot, no good. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. They want to keep rolling here following the win against the Thunder. I mean, they were so impressive offensively. And when you do that, that can really help you on the road. It's one thing to play inspired defense in that situation. But to get in that kind of offensive rhythm away from home, phenomenal. Well, on the last half decade or so, the NBA Steve has realized the true value of the corner three. And now offenses all over the league are designed to take advantage of it. Part of that is because it's just closer to the rim than any other three-pointer. Yeah, you're right, and, and you should. I mean, when you have a three-point arc, yes, the corner threes are going to be shorter, and it's harder from a guy to shoot it from straight on. But when you have a guy that can shoot it straight on, you can see the dynamics of a team defensively. It's hard to cover. But I don't think the team, the NBA, should widen the court because of the value of the corner three. That's a part of the game. Should the lane be widened? Should we talk about the court and making all the threes the same length? What about the lane? Well, I think you can widen the lane if you change the defensive rules because right now you're allowed to play zone. If you went back to man-to-man, -to -man, yes, I think you should widen it. But when teams are allowed to play zone, I think the value of keeping it the same helps the defense a little bit more. That one is off. Some changes for Chicago. Valentine comes in for Miritich, and Wells is up in for Zach Levine. He's off on the second. And it won't be easy for the Warriors to keep everyone on their team for the foreseeable future, but as long, Steve, as their core stays together, they'll be a title threat, no doubt. Are we looking at a dynasty here, Smitty? You know, Kevin, they have a chance. Their core players on this team, they work so well together. They will always be in contention. They will be able to sign vets for cheap for a long time. It could be a while before someone takes them down. Now the Bulls have had one of the largest and strongest fan bases in the NBA for years, having the Jordan-era Bulls help, but they have always been a beloved team in the city of Chicago. Yeah, you see the devotion from their fans at their games, and the numbers back it up. They've had the best fan attendance every year since 2010, and they've been in the top five since as long as I can remember, and that's long. And the Warriors making a change here. Young's checked in. And so he hits both. Warriors leading by 20. Curry kicks to Iguodala. Curry setting the pick for Iguodala. Young's shot is off. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Fades. And Petrulia pulls it down. Golden State's gone 3 of 6, 50% from deep so far tonight. And Nick Young, the bucket on the assist by Petrulia. 
Young's got himself on the board with three there. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Curry with the steal. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. Curry's got the ball. Slammed home and they call the foul. He's headed to the stripe for one more. He was wide open. Reason why? Stephen Curry is a fantastic player who quickly got it over to his teammate. The Warriors have been on target from the free throw line. They're 5 of 5 in that department. Wells in the corner. And again, Chicago. No good. Golden State's gone 4 of 7 from three-point range so far in the first. Livingston dishes to Iguodala. Screen by Young. Six on the shot clock. Now here's Livingston. Not a lot of room. Tough miss. He found some space inside the arc, but he could deliver. Valentine kicks to Markinen. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. And Markinen continuing to improve inside. I mean, utilizing his height, D has a tough time matching up with somebody with his skill set. And the basket by Kerr. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. He hits Brown with the drive. Now here's Wells. He's covered by Iguodala. And you got to clog up any lane to the basket. When you don't, Wells exploits it with this quick thinking. Livingston passes to Young. It's Curry outside. Another three for Golden State. And when you build a big lead like this, especially early, you have to guard against the letdown. Yeah, this is where it gets interesting. Do they start to coast or do they go right for the juggler? And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Pachulia with the screen on Brown. Nice job coming off that screen. 18 points for Steph Curry. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Here's Brown. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. Pass to Wells. This one for three. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Wells has got five now. And Wells has such a quick release. He's ready to pull as soon as the ball hits his head. Julia, good. And from the opening tip, they have been in complete control of this one. Dominate on the court, and it's showing up on the scoreboard. Let's see if they can maintain this level of intensity. Curry against Brown. Wells wide open. Offline with his three. Lacking confidence right now in his offense. He's been shaky all period. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. We've got 118 left here in the opening quarter. He hits Brown with the drive, and he uses the glass on the layup. Attacking the defense with the pass. Love the unselfishness. Curry against Brown. They set the screen. Young dishes to Livingston. Picked by Pachulia. Off the pick. From deep, Igudawa. Wells grabs the miss. Out to the right wing. Valentine wide open. He fires. A second chance effort. And Markinen lays it up and in. Markinen's got his second bucket of the night. And remember, at seven feet tall, Markinen is tough to keep off the board. Solid at tracking down misses on that offensive blast. Here's Curry with the three. Sinks the triple. Curry's got 21 in the game. We will talk about feed the hot hand. That's what they're doing this quarter, which is why they've been able to maintain momentum. And he's good on the three ball. Oh, okay, it's on. Trading blows here from distance. You know what? Both sides are in rhythm. The defense out there having no effect. Wells has gone two of five from three-point land. And here's Livingston. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Picked by Pachulia. They set the pick. Young outside. 
Fires from deep. Another three for Golden State. And really, that's what built the early lead here. Killer shooting from beyond. I love when a team comes out and establishes a three-point shot. Opens up the drive for later on. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Golden State Warriors. Going on an absolute rampage, piling in the points. He dictated the pace of the entire quarter. Back to the action after this word. And work ethic, a big part of Steph Curry's success, as he was not a highly regarded five-star recruit coming out of high school. There's obviously ways that you can get better as a player from year to year and find different ways to show you know, what you're capable of. And that's kind of how you know, my story unfolded from high school to now, is just adding a little bit of piece here, piece there every single year. And he's certainly become not only a complete player, but the kind of true star guys that every team is looking to build around. You know, when he was drafted, Steph was viewed by most scouts as a great shooter. Not a centerpiece, but boy, were they wrong. Well, not exactly a close game so far, but as the second quarter starts here, plenty of time for a comeback. And for the Warriors, this has been the game they wanted to have. I tell you, on fire all period long. And, and this is how you want to start the game. They build up a monster lead on the heels of great shooting. Love the attack mindset here. So the Bulls five right now. We've got Wells. He's out there with Brown. And it's Holiday in at the small forward position. Quincy Pondexter, he's checked in for Wells. Now, for all the great things that Pachulia did for the Warriors last season, unfortunately, most fans will remember Kawhi Leonard hurting his ankle on Zaza's foot in the Western Conference yeah, Finals. Yeah, Kevin, um, I, I don't think he did that intentionally. I know Zaza Pachulia. He just plays extremely hard. He's done a nice job for the Warriors being that guy in the middle. Doesn't block shots, but he was huge for the Warriors. Now, let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Guys, Kevin Durant is a unique player. Ron James said he's a seven-footer with six-foot ball handling skills, a jump shot, and athleticism. It's never been done in our league. Never had a guy that's seven foot and can do all that, so it sets him apart. Kevin, I'm six feet tall, and I can broadcast. <laughs> you can, and you can write, and by the way, you're in the Hall of Fame. DA, thank you. Round kicks to Felicio. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Holiday, the pass to Markinen. There's a screen over Green. Markinen can't get it to go. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Young's got four points this quarter. And you have to like the location of this pass. Gives it to him where he can do something with it. Holiday left side. Over Green sinks that one from the post. The Warriors have gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. Young outside. Pachulia kicks to Young. A three-pointer is right on target. Young's got 13. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. The kick out to Holiday. Markinen dishes to Brown over Curry and that one goes long the Warriors have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter and it's good assisting on the play with Livingston Livingston's got three assists now in this one Brown outside and Holiday kicks to Brown The rebound goes to the Warriors. You know what? His finishing ability is not really at the level that you would expect from a pro, but he's going to have to start playing with more force. Here's Young. It's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. I like what he's given them tonight. Efficient offense that's helped fuel this lead. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Round down low, guarded by Kirk. It's stolen by Green. 
Young with no one around. No good from outside. Last outing for the Bulls, it was a loss to the Jazz in Utah. Yeah, guys, they, they were forcing it a bit in that one and, and shot a relatively low percentage because of it. But you have to give them credit for being aggressive. The problem is they play too much hero ball. You have to be willing to make the extra pass. And Nick Young with the slam. Everyone knows how amazing Green is on defense because of his long reach. Nice job there starting the transition play. Outside Holiday. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. Yeah, it just seems whatever they do, nothing's working right now to stop the bleeding. It takes an effort on both ends of the floor, and you have to find the right matchups to exploit. Green kicks to Curry. The feed to Livingston. Here's Green. The dish now to Pachulia. And it's good for two. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Now Brown. They set the pick. Larkin in the corner. He dishes it to Pondexter. Pass to Brown to the wing right side. Lock at six. Tipped away. And here we go. Fast break. Curry's got it. Launches the three. Young's shot is off. Chicago has gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Well, one reason this Bulls team had such a tough time getting easy wins last year, it was their shooting. Second lowest made threes in the league. Just didn't have the personnel to make it happen. Here's Curry. And count it. He'll head to the line with a chance to make it three. Yeah, the and so it's the Golden State Warriors holding a very... Thanks, Kevin. Alongside Steve Kerr and Coach, what is the offensive approach going to be in the second half? Well, we just have to do what we do, move the ball um, and wear them down with our ball movement, our cutting and our spacing and set better screens, all the, all the usual stuff. Yeah, it always seems to work out for you in the long run. Thanks, Steve. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. As we begin the second half, first half wasn't even close, guys, and we'll see if there is a comeback on our hands or more of the same as we get the third quarter started. Really an incredible... Nick Young's checked in for Golden State. And the Bulls make... ...making a change here as well. Brown's checked in. Curry and McCaw are the one and the two. Young is out there with Green, and it's McGee in at the five down low. That's the Warriors five. Pondexter kicks to Brown. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Nick Sign Young. Up. That's his first foul. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Now, here's Grant. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Five to shoot. A picture perfect screenplay, and the jumper's good. Grant's got five. Finally, they get one to drop. That's one of their first four here in the third. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Yeah, still moving a little bit when he set that screen. He'll argue that he was set, but I, I really didn't think so. That's the modern-day NBA. Complain about the call and hope the next one goes your way. This is to Brown. He kicks it to Miritich. Here's Felicio. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Felicio's got his third basket of the night right there. Outside Curry. Young passes to McCaw. Knocks it loose. It's Brown with the drive. And a look now at the breakdown between three-point and two-point shots attempted here tonight for the Warriors. 
and a lot of shots from launch out the D and force them to cover out in space. And a lot of times that enables an offense to get some opportunities to attack in the paint. Two shots. That free throw good from Brown. And the league has taken some measure to keep the pace of the game going, which I think is good. Getting players to the court more quickly after timeouts. Just, just carving some seconds. Sometimes they add up over the course of a game to make it seem faster, to keep the, the rhythm of the game. You like that direction, Steve? I love that direction, I mean, especially for the fan to get a chance to watch it. I love the, all the little, like you said, nuances to keep this game moving. I would love to see even when a coach calls a timeout, if he doesn't want to take the time, that they can continue to keep playing it. Both coaches agree just to have a timeout because sometimes you just want to have a break. You might want to turn it over. You call a timeout, you don't have to have it strategized. Just keep playing. The Bulls have gone two of six from the field here in the third. Screened by Grant. Round kicks to Felicio. It's deflected. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Here's McCall, and he's fouled on the shot. One free throw coming up. Creating a size mismatch in close. That's the kind of thing you're working for. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And a look back at his numbers from the free throw line last year. 78%, so not too bad. Round kicks to Grant. Back to Brown. Here's Felicio. Pachulia covering. Miritich gets the bucket. And he finally gets involved from beyond the arc. His first three of the game comes here in the second quarter. Curry with it. He has 31. Pachulia with the screen on Grant. The pass to Pachulia. Here's McCall. Shot clock at six. Green the screen. And another three for Golden State. Oh, okay, it's on. Trading blows here from distance. You know what? Both sides are in rhythm. The defense out there having no effect. It's Brown with the drive. Back to Grant. Takes a three. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got three assists in the game. Further proof that you can't leave anyone in this league that wide open. Curry kicks to McCaw. Passes it to Pachulia. Golden State moving the ball around. Here's Curry with the three. Miracic grabs the miss. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Feeds it to Brown. Again, Chicago. The Warriors have gone 8 of 10 shooting here in the second half. Very strong. Screen by Young. Green dishes to Curry. Again, Golden State. Strong work for him at the offensive end, helping them to maintain that lead. Here's Grant. Eight points for him. That shot, no good. Excellent D there from Pachulia. Young outside. He feeds it to Curry. From deep three-point range, trains the three-pointer. Curry's got seven now in this quarter. Picking up from where he left off, I lost count of how many threes he hit in the first half. Now nails this one. But Julia with the steal, and here they come. Here's McCaw, and it's blocked by Brown. First free throw is good. And some changes here for the Warriors. Iguodala comes in for Nick Young. And it's Livingston in for Steph Curry. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Bobby Portis has checked in for Felicio. Markinen comes in for Miritich. Justin Holliday's checked in for Quincy Pondexter. 
And Wells is subbed in for Jaron Grant. Iguodala kicks to Livingston. McCaw, the pass to Green, picked by Pachulia. And out of bounds is Chicago Games possession. While we have a break in the action, now let's check out the league's best shooting teams. The Warriors, fourth. So patient on the offensive end. I mean, they're not going to force shots, and it's that selectiveness that's yielded such an impressive field goal percentage. Brown outside. Now here's Wells. Defense right on him. It's good. That basket is now five for nine. And, and Wells fears no one. When he's close to the rim, he looks past the defense, keeps his eyes locked on that basket. Wells comes with the double team. Wells with the steal. In transition, here come the Bulls. Wells is running. And the Bulls tack on two more. And you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. And the replay is courtesy of Under Armour. Unleash chaos. It was a great sequence from the steal all the way to the finish at the other end. You know, last season, Steve Kerr once again having to miss time due to complications from his back surgery. Missed the majority of the team's postseason. But he got through the regular season fine, but it's something that has troubled him off and on. Clock at four, Pachulia. Chicago grabs the miss. Portis has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Brown outside. Doesn't go for him. Excellent D here by Igudala. And having worked with Steve Kerr here at 2K and other capacities, usually we get the ribbon a lot, make jokes whenever we see him coaching. But you know, Steve, I speak for everyone in the 2K family when we wish Steve all the best and hope he can overcome these health issues. I totally echo that, uh, Kevin. Uh, Steve Kerr is just an NBA lifer. But more than that, he's a fantastic coach and even a better person. We hope to see him on the sidelines for years to come. He gets it in there. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Now, here's Livingston. He's covered by Brown. It's stolen by Brown. Fast break. Here comes Chicago. Markinen dishes to Wells. Count that one. Wells has got eight points in the quarter. In case anyone was wondering, this is what it looks like when you're in the zone. He hasn't missed one all quarter. And taken away by Brown. Wells kicks to Brown. One forty-six left in the third. Outside Holiday. Five on the clock. Markinen passes to Holiday. Offline from the top of the key. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position. You could see the frustration on his face. Here's Livingston. And the shot is good. Dropping in off the front of the rim. Livingston's got his second basket of the night. He hits Brown with the drive, and he gets it to go. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Livingston dishes to Pachulia. Back to Livingston. Picked by Pachulia. From 10 feet out, and that one good. Pachulia's got six. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots, playing smart with the lead. Round down low. He's covered by Livingston. Now here's Wells. Tight defense on him. Nice fake there to create the shot, but it's no good. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And that one drops for him. I love the adjustments he's made here in the second half, getting the looks he wants now and shooting a much higher percentage. Right side, Holiday. To the paint. Whistle on the play. Bucket's good. He'll That's go good. to the line. 
Outstanding entry pass there. He knew exactly where to go with the ball. Checked in for the Warriors. Stephen Curry comes in for Sean Livingston. Chicago also making some changes. Miritich is checked in for Markkanen. Valentine comes in for Wells. And it's Brown in for Levine. Taking a look at the Bulls. We've got Miritich. Also, Valentine out there. Portis is out there with Brown. And it's Holiday in a two-guard. The Bulls shooting around 40% from the floor here. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Warriors. You don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And this will be a big win for them. Lucky win number 13 now in the bag. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Steph Curry. What you like about his approach at the offensive end today, once he got into a rhythm, he stayed focused. That's why the points just kept coming. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. This game may not have been the most exciting. Hey, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, that you just watched me build a brick tower from like 10 feet away. No, I'm thinking that you want to go out there and do some performative Kobe Bryant shooting in the arena while the press looks on type of thing. Don't even think about it. You can't keep the arena staff here past overtime unless you're at least a three-time off. So. Yeah, but I just need to see the ball go well, in then before you need I to sleep dream tonight. About it. Man, I stank it up real bad tonight, Shane. I watched you. I know. Like light a match pad, Listen, bro. man, your vet is not going to pull any punches. After I had my first brick, my vet pulled me aside and gave me great advice. Like top secret advice that he received from his vet. And so on and so on. So All now right. I'm just here to share with you. All right, man. Well, well tell me what it is. Nah, forget it. What you mean, forget it? You just gonna leave me hanging? Oh, come on, man. 